did something wrong already probably i did th i shouldn't wear this i shouldn't do i shouldn't i should explain all of it hi guys grace helvig here if you did not know now you know your life is different now you don't need to explain whether good or bad so i have a very fun video for you today i think i haven't tried it at all before shooting this video so it could be bad who knows future grace knows the one that's editing this video definitely knows and she's looking at like my pure optimism right now and being like but other than her, no one knows. I'm sure you know this already, but if you do not, myself, Mary Hart, and Hannah Hart have a movie coming out on September 23rd called Dirty 30. It's a house party film about a 30 year old that does not like the life that she's living and she allows her two best friends to throw her a raging house party. And one of the fun props that we had on set for the house party scenes was a shot ski. If you do not know what a shot ski is, it is, the foundation is a ski used for skiing. On top of that ski are three equidistance, relatively secure shot glasses. Why? What is happening, you crazy idiot? For the purpose of three people being able to take a shot at the same time. I thought it'd be really fun in this video to try and DIY a very, very homemade shot ski. The base of a shot ski is a ski, and if you have a ski laying around, congratulations, you're rich. All you need for the base is a very narrow, long, structurally sound piece of some material that's relatively flat on top so you can put some shots on top. To make my base, I took a cardboard box that I ordered off of Amazon. It worked really well because it was already folded in two, which made it like extra sound, so I took another cardboard box, traced straight down the side of that cardboard box, and tried to cut out my narrow strip of cardboard that was doubled over. But the problem I have with this piece is that it's a little flimsy. See? So I'm going to just reinforce its structure with old kebab sticks. Yeah, I knew you came in excess. Who actually makes 100 kebabs? I'm gonna take some of my wooden skewers, hot glue them along the inside of this homemade shot ski, fold it over, and hopefully reinforce it. Let's see what happens, shall we? So I think our cardboard structure is secure. I'm just gonna take some packing tape and wrap the edges of it just to be extra. So there we have our shot ski board. The fun thing is now you can decorate your homemade shot ski however you want depending on the theme of your party. The best thing to do, in my opinion, is to put some sort of message underneath the shot ski so when everyone's taking the shot, everyone else that will clearly be watching will receive a very direct message, so. Ta-da, art. I mean, ideally these wouldn't be here, but sometimes you grip things like that. Art! Last step is that you're gonna take some shot glasses and glue them to the top of your shot ski. A lot of shot skis use actual glass shot glasses, but we're doing homemade. So we're using some plastic shot glasses. Somehow these were in my cupboard. Am I surprised? No. I am surprised that I used the word cupboard though. So basically you want to space out your shot glasses so that when any three people are taking this shot ski, they don't have to deal with like their faces their cheeks touching each other's cheeks. That's always like a, not necessarily what you want. Depends on the time of the night, but we're gonna hot glue some of our shot glasses down to our shot ski. Here we go. If you are really concerned about like the sanitary issues, you can probably double these up and then take away the shots as people take them. Oh my God. And there we go. There's your homemade shot ski. We got three. Let me show you how it works by myself. Hold on. Hey friends, wanna take a shot? Yeah, of course you do. We're having such a fun time. Here we go, all together, all three of us. One, two, three. What is happening, you crazy idiot? Wow, friends for <clears throat> Well, there is how to make your own homemade shot ski, which I'm pretty sure is entirely recyclable until one of you tell me that it is completely not. Speaking of Dirty 30, dumbness and DIY. My character in Dirty 30, her name is Evie, and she is charitable, but not for necessarily the most well-known charities. And she has DIY'd a PSA for a charity that she um, really cares about, but I don't know if anyone else does. And reluctantly, she has brought on her two best friends to help her in her PSA. So take a look at Evie's 
I don't even know how you describe it. Enjoy. So, Evie, how is the uh, fundraising coming along? You know, for the um, bald llamas? Alpacas with alopecia. Oh, is, is that a thing? Yeah, apparently. <laughs> And, actually, I have already raised over half of their goal. Here, here. Hello, I'm Evie. Every day, every year, thank you, Kate. Every year, literally, tens of alpacas are afflicted with a terrible, debilitating disease. Early onset alpaca alopecia is a growing epidemic, but we can stop it. Actually, Charlie, we can't. Not alone, at least. That's right. We need your help. Please, help us find a cure. With each donation, alpacas like Elliot will get closer to having their hair back. So give us your money or some strands of your hair. Just cut them right off of your head. Don't need no gingers. Just the yellow or brown ones. Alpacas don't come in red. Give us your money. Party time! Do you want to have sex? Oh, wow, that's me. What is happening, you crazy idiots? Oh! I want to bathe you. Whoa. Also, don't forget to pre-order Dirty 30 on iTunes. The link is down below in the description box. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel because that would be just so f f f expletive great.